Preliminary indications suggest that the scope and scale of this incident are beyond any that we've confronted as a nation, and its implications are significant. Information technology company SolarWinds was found to be the target of a massive cybersecurity attack in December. The company's Orion software had been compromised, and the breach went undetected for at least nine months. It had exposed 18,000 computer networks around the world to malicious code. The hackers used a supply chain attack to send a virus into the system which spread to the company's clients through software updates that created a way for them to gain access to sensitive data. Imagine almost a secret door into your house, and the first thing that happens when they come through that secret door is all your keys are right there. They just grab them, and now they can get into any locks you have in your house. The president of Microsoft called it the largest and most sophisticated attack the world has ever seen. When we analyzed everything that we saw at Microsoft, we asked ourselves, how many engineers had probably worked on these attacks? And the answer we came to was, well, certainly more than a thousand. Among those affected by the hack were thousands of private organizations, including tech corporations such as Microsoft, Intel, and Cisco. U.S. government agencies, including the Treasury, Homeland Security, and others were also affected. Cybersecurity analysts say an attack like this could be used to access government data, intelligence reports, employee information, and email accounts. The true scope of the attack is unknown, as analysts are still trying to figure out how much information has been leaked. But they say it could take months to identify which systems were compromised and expel the hackers. We've never been left with a breach like that before, where we know months into it that we're only looking at the tip of the iceberg. The U.S. has accused the Russian intelligence service of orchestrating the attack. They say it resembles the techniques used against Ukraine in 2017. But Russia denies any involvement in the SolarWinds hack. The attacks are continuing to this day, as government agencies try to secure their systems. The hack has demonstrated how vulnerable governments are to this type of cybersecurity breach.